Hey guys, Ollie Alligator here, and today I have a review for you guys on WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe for Windows. There is also a very similar application for Mac, which does the exact same things. So today I'll be reviewing the Windows one. So you can see I have it right here on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here it is. So it's a video converting software, obviously, as you can tell by the name, but it has a lot of features. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a file here. And it just shows everything about it. You can directly upload to YouTube from here if you want. Fail! I actually made a mistake here. Um, that YouTube button right there is for downloading a YouTube video, so you just click it and paste the URL, and you can download it any format you want, not for exporting to YouTube. All right, let's keep going. You can add another file, so you can convert multiple files. You can remove, clear, everything, and options, which lets you choose your options. Alright, so here you can see it has a whole bunch of settings or outputs for the video file. So there's general video, which you can choose to anything you want. And there are also a lot of presets, for example, DVD, HD video, and a lot of these have submenus. So you can choose the format of the file that you want to Apple, so you can... Uh, render it for the iPad, your iPod, or your iPhone, or your Apple TV, or your Apple TV in HD. Uh, for Sony, there's PSP, PS3, PS3 HD in a high resolution, of course. Microsoft, Xbox, Xbox HD, Zune, Zune HD, cell phone. So you get the point. There are a lot, lot, lot of presets. So you can choose whichever you want, and you can also set up your own preset in the general video section. You can choose all the settings, and it also supports multiple cores and hyper-threading, which um, some of the newer computers have it, like my processor, which is a Core i7, has it. Um, it's four cores, but each core runs two threads, so it's eight threads in total. So you can use all of that, you can use half of it. So let's say you want to render a video and you want to do something else, while it's rendering the video, you could just use four of those, and then your computer won't be as slow, or not four of those, but let's say half. Also, when I use the all eight cores to render a video, um, it only uses about 20% of my CPU, which um, it's not 100%, but it was going pretty fast, I guess. You can't make it use more. Here you can control the audio quality, how loud it, loud it is, and the format of your audio, and video quality, again, you can change the bitrate, um, frame rate, um, which you can choose, I would, I'll go with 29.97, that's the standard video codex, so you can choose that, and a lot, a lot of settings, so it's definitely a feature-rich software for video editing, probably the best one out there, one of the best um, to get. Now, I have a lot of these to give away that will be in a future video, so stay subscribed, um, thumbs up this video, and comment what you think of it, and um, stay tuned for the giveaway. Till then, um, this is Ollie Alligator signing out. Bye-bye. Hey guys, All Alligator here, and today I have a review for you guys on WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. You can see I have the icon right here. Now this is for Windows, but they have a very, very similar software for Mac as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. Fail click right there. Um, and here it is. What it is is a video converting software, and it's a really, really feature rich so there's a lot of read the bad hey guys what up what is up